Hello friends, welcome to Doubt Forum. This question is a capacitor of capacitance 50 picofarad is charged by 100 volt source. It is then connected to an another uncharged identical capacitor. So we have to find out the electrostatic energy loss in this process in terms of nanojoule. So here what is happening? There is a capacitor. Let's consider this is a capacitor of value 50 picofarad. This 50 picofarad capacitor is connected across a voltage source of value 100 volt. So this is our 100 volt source. So when we connect this capacitor across this voltage source, certain amount of charge would be stored inside this capacitor or the charge separation would be there inside this capacitor. The very basic formula which we are using here is Q that is the charged separation or the charge stored inside this capacitor is equals to C into V. Here C is the capacitance, V is the voltage applied. So when we connect this capacitor across this voltage source, certain amount of charge would be stored. So that charge would be equal to capacitance that is 50 picofarad and pico is 10 to the power minus. 12 into voltage applied here is 100 volt. So this value would come out to be 5000 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb or this would be equal to 5 nano coulomb. So this is the value of charge which would be stored inside this capacitor due to this 100 volt power supply. Now here in this question what is happening once this capacitor has stored this much of charge now what we are doing we are connecting this charged capacitor which is of 50 picofarad and having this much of charge stored inside across an identical uncharged capacitor. Identical means its value would also be equal to 50 picofarad but there is no charged store in this capacitor. We are connecting these two capacitors like this. Now we have to find out the electrostatic energy loss in this process. So first of all what we have to do we have to find out the amount of energy which would be stored in this capacitor and then we have to find, find out the electrostatic energy of this combination of capacitor. So in first case the electrostatic energy inside a capacitor is given by half C into V square. This is the very basic formula. And we can replace these terms using this formula depending upon the known values. So here what we can do, we can find out the electrostatic energy stored in this capacitor. So this would be half. Value of C is 50 picofarad. into square of the voltage. In first case the voltage applied is of 100 volt so we have to take the square. So this value would come out to be 25 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 10 to the power 4 and this would be equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 8 or we can say this would be equal to 250 nanojoule. This is the electrostatic energy stored in this first capacitor when we applied a 100 volt source. And now what we have to do, we have to find out the electrostatic energy of this combination. So for electrostatic energy what we will be doing, we will be using that same formula half Cv square. In this case the voltage is not known to us. So what we will be replacing voltage using this formula. So this would also be equal to half into C. In terms of voltage, I can write Q upon C. So this would be Q upon C, the square of it. So the formula would come out to be half Q square upon C. 
because we are talking about this combination so in place of this c i will be writing c equivalent and its value would be half the charge stored in this system would be equal to 50 nanojoule because this capacitor is only having the charge initially this capacitor do not have any charge so the net charge or the total charge in this system would be equal to 5 nanocoulomb so this q square would be 5 nano coulomb square divided by c equivalent the equivalent c of this combination would be 50 plus 50 that is 100 picofarad so in place of c equivalent i will be writing 100 picofarad so this value would come out to be half into 25 into 10 to the power nano square would be minus 18 and in denominator it would be 100 into 10 to the power minus 12 so this would be 25 divided by this 100 would make this as 10 to the power minus 10 so this would be 25 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 18 into 10 to the power plus 10 because this minus 10 would become plus 10 when we move it to towards the numerator so this value would come out to be 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 or i can write it like 125 into 10 to the power minus 9 and this minus 9 is representing in nano so this would be equal to 125 nano joule so here the electrostatic energy of this system is equal to 125 nano joule while the electrostatic energy of this capacitor when this capacitor alone is connected across this voltage source has is come out to be 250 so the energy loss would be 250 minus 120 so energy loss during this process would be equal to 250 minus 125 and this would be equal to 125 nanojoule so this would be its answer so let me quickly revise this question first initially what is happening there is a 50 picofarad capacitor which is connected across 100 volt power supply because of which certain amount of charge separation would be created inside this capacitor and its value would come out to be 5 nanocoulomb the energy or the electrostatic energy stored inside this capacitor is given by half cv square here c is 50 picofarad v is the 100 volt so its value would come out to be 250 nanojoule in the second case what is happening discharged capacitor which is having or which is carrying 50 nanocoulomb of charge inside this is connected across an identical which means its value is also 50 picofarad but initially this capacitor do not have any charge so these two capacitors are connected when these two capacitors are connected we have to find out the electrostatic energy of this system as well so from the very basic formula of electrostatic energy inside a capacitor that is half cv square in this case voltage is not known to us so we will be replacing v from q upon c so its formula would come out to be half q square upon c here because there are two capacitors which are connected so we have to take the equivalent of that and the value of q would remain 5 nanocoulomb because this is the only capacitor which is having the charge this, so this 5 nanocoulomb of charge would be distributing among these two capacitors so that would be the value of charge so we, we will be keeping 5 nanocoulomb in place of q and then square of that c equivalent because both the capacitors are connected in parallel so its value would be 100 picofarad so by simply putting the value of q and c equivalent we will be finding that the energy of this system is e come out to be 125 nano cooler sorry nano joule in the question we are asked to find the electrostatic energy loss so to find out the loss what we have to do we have to simply take the difference of electrostatic energies of both the system so its energy in the first in the first case the energy was 250 while of this second case its energy is 125 so, so the difference of these two would be the electrostatic energy loss and that is 250 minus 125 and its value would be 125 nanojoule 
so that's our answer thank you for watching if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section